I like that this raises two for only one, but I feel like placing it would be difficult. Although blowing it up and putting something else there would be pretty easy to do. Yo, thank you so much, Med, and thank you, Penance, as well. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, guys. Vincent gonna like give me the absolute sauce or what? So far, he's not very saucy, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, that was pretty saucy. I concede. I concede a small amount of saws. I got double... Double death claws though, so he's gonna... If he keeps doing that, he's gonna struggle. I mean, I really wanna take that double, but then I'd have to destroy my death claw for it. But is it worth... Is it worth it for a free double? his trap. Right into his Yu-Gi-Oh trap. Hmm. I'm gonna take a risk here. Hope he doesn't take the middle. Now he can take that. Oh no. Alright, that's good. Uh do I go sand hog? I think I do. And then I think we're gonna. No, that is mine. That's right. Now, I think we Jabberwock for the big play. Big play. Keep going, but I'll take the W. That Jabberwock, man. That saved it. I was setting up that play the whole time, but I needed that spot. He tried to take it like three times. It's like, no, that spot is mine. It seems a transfer of ownership was in the cards after all. Be warned. That which appears a mere pastime is shrouded in darkness. I suggest you proceed with caution, lest it consume you, too. Yeah, that was genuinely scary. Than I like... Feared. <laughs> that was spooky. Here, you go throw. guide you to the queen. The rest is in your hands.
I see you successfully obtained the Emerald Witch. I noticed the card was radiating energy, which I took the liberty of analyzing. It revealed the location of the Queen. Evidently, she resides within some ruins in the Gungaga region. The climax of this saga is nigh, and only you, the Blood Executioner, can bring it to a close. Best of luck. Her? Gungaga. Looks like I've been there too. Time to get lost in the woods. I like how she has her own little icon. She means business. You, me, we, Gungaga. This is very unfitting for the mo <laughs> for the moment at hand. Oh shoot! I should actually go probably here. I don't think I'm gonna win it in one attempt. Like I said, my deck isn't even that good. It's just fun. And I mean, I'm basically the Seto Kaiba of Queen's Blood, but I don't know if my skills will be enough. <laughs> Mod it. Actually, I'm kind of the reverse of... Uh, I'm more of the Yugi Moto. My deck actually sucks, but I have the skills to make it work. Seto was the opposite. He had the, the best cards. Having said that, I'm I'm not even I'm not even the Yugi. I have no idea where I'm going. Gungaga's revenge. I was, uh, I was looking at this song, a, a YouTube video of this song, so I was going to use it for the resub alert for next month, but I decided on a different song. But, uh, in the, con like, the, one of the top comments was, uh, this song has 90s Disney movie vibes. And I was like, yeah, it does. I think we had said something similar, but I just killed somebody. Oh, <laughs> thought she just died. I don't remember the best way to get in here. I thought it was here, but I don't think it is. This is all misty. I don't think that's the way you go. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> See you on Reddit. That face when I can't find the right mushroom. 
leaves a dislike on the Gagaga theme song on YouTube. Justice has been served. Okay, sure. I can't jump down there, sure. And you guys th thought I wasn't gonna find it. Well, joke's on you. I still haven't found it. There we go. Eggs. He's so lost, meanwhile finds it. Still haven't found the mushroom that gets you up there, though. But I'm not here to find stuff. I'm here to play cards and chew bubblegum, and I'm all out of bubblegum. So anyway. I mean... It's not even April yet, but... I think it's safe to say this game is going to be a, a tough contender. They were to just take out that yellow paint, you know? Then it's a shoe in, but. Is there really, is there any, like, better synopsis of, like, or, like, show it, showing that the Final Fantasy community truly cannot agree on anything? Where, like, the two overarching judgments of this game is Gungaga is too confusing and there's too much yellow paint. Like, those two things completely counteract each other. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Also, I like that the music changed. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I'm going to step all over your board. I knew it. Oh, Cloud. It's you. Spooky music. Didn't think you'd come. You mind? We prefer to have this conversation in private. So I'm a demon. Here it is. The source of everything. All I ever wanted was to be worth something. Queen's blood gave me that. Got people to respect me. Fear me. Until... I started fearing for myself, for what I might become. Because I can't keep winning forever, and once I start losing, I'll be worthless. Worse, a nobody. When I found her, I knew that I would never lose again. That I'd been chosen for something greater. That I was blessed. But this, this isn't that at all. It's been speaking to me. Telling me to give myself to her power. To dominate. I've tried not to for so long, but I... I can't. Regina? <laughs> you right? Uh, yes. I remember well this land, for it was once mine. Until that witch rallied the unwashed and put me to the sword. Well, little puppet, what do you say? 
A match against your queen. For you, human, have a blood debt to pay in full. And she did like, she did one of these. Who does that? Somebody does that. One of the, one of the main villains in Final Fantasy does that. Can't think of who it is. Ain't no shot I win this. Love the epic song just for this. But at this point, am I shocked? No. Raise the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by two while this card is in play. I feel like I should play her for the sake of the lore, but she does not fit in my deck at all. I gotta do it. I gotta do it for the lore, guys. Uh... Gotta do it. Or my name is not Yugi Moto. Look, I drew her first turn, too. What? She's already on the field. She's cheating. Uh, I kind of like this hand, but I also don't know if I need both of those. I'm just going to play it. So what is this? Raise power by three for each other enfeebled allied and enemy card. Yikes. That's bad. That's my whole deck. <laughs> that's not good. That's a that's a code red. That is a code red for me. I gotta take the board, it's the only way I'm gonna win this. I should have played Emerald Witch. Holy mo- it's like nothing but legendary cards. Uh, well. What is that, 10? Taking the board. <laughs> we could actually pull this out. Uh, we gotta think about this. We need points and we need all of them. I can't do this, it's gonna power her stuff. But I could maybe drop down here when allied cards are destroyed. Mm. This is while it's in play, so I can't do this or it'll just blow up. Definitely need to play Jabberwock at some point. I need to get Ski on the board. God, we, we could do this. We could actually do this.
This guy should probably go up top. It's going to blow up. I do that. Holy moly. Why does this say... Okay, yeah, it would give her... This would be pretty big. Can't play this, it'll blow up. I'm running out of cards, these are all worth two. This wins me this though. I mean, that's it. We W, we big W. I can't believe this deck pulled it out. <laughs> I can't believe this deck pulled it out. With the Emerald Witch too. Right in the center of the board. Let's go. The ultimate lore victory. <laughs> I told you, I'm the Yugi Moto. That deck should not have won. But heart of the cards, brother. That was truly heart of the cards. A cursed witch. Even in death, you would thwart me. Speaking of heart of the cards, just chuck that right into her heart. Cloud, you good? <laughs> what about? She's gone. Oh, she is, is she? Good job, Cloud. You blew it. Little puppet, you belong to me now. Of course, Vincent comes to save. He's shooting the cards with bullets. Use the card. Don't you dare. Game over. Oh, in the one liner. <sighs> Thank you, Cloud, for stopping her, for stopping me. Guess I really let all that genius crap go to my head, huh? After a while, losing became my worst nightmare. I'd do anything to win, and look where it got me. You are not to blame for this. Evil like that preys on our deepest, darkest fears and worms its way into our hearts. If you ever break free... You're the best because you worked your ass off. Not because you're a genius. Got it? <gasps> Got it. <sighs> now you tell her, Cloud. Well, on that note, I'd better get back to it. After all, there can only be one card queen. <laughs> <laughs> so next time you want to throw down, you best come prepared. Right. <laughs> Later. All's well that ends well, I suppose. Thanks to you. <laughs> Couldn't have you dying on me just yet.
Yes, that card's so good for my deck. <laughs> oh, I don't know how many pawns it takes to play. We the champion! I'm guessing you can play again. Dude, that is how you do a side quest, man. Like, they could have made it, oh, we're going to do Yu-Gi-Oh, but in Final Fantasy, and just have it be like a goofy, you know, evil queen, and you beat her. Like, that's how you do it, man. You go all the way. You actually hit, you know, like, not only did they actually give it, like, a cool lore and, like, actually have some suspense and stuff, but then they, they go, you know, all in with it and have it actually be a goofy Yu-Gi-Oh battle with the one-liner, throw the card, Vincent shooting bullets at cards. Like, that was so incredible. I love it. Like, it, I think, it, like, if you're going to do something like this, you gotta, you gotta fully embrace it, you know? They fully embraced it. Because uh, otherwise, it just seems like, I don't know, it just seems like, why bother? Or just kind of like goofy but no this was amazing <laughs> this was incredible like i i already liked queen's blood just for queen's blood i didn't even need like a quest line like i just enjoyed the game but the fact that they were willing to go this hard on it and actually you know give our us 2000s kids uh, a treat by making it like a Yu-Gi-Oh spin-off like that's just amazing, man. Like that they just they really knew their audience and they really knew that they could go all the way and really sell it and have it be awesome. Like they they weren't afraid to go all the way. Like it's just awesome, man. I loved it. That was so awesome. And we still have so much more Queen's Blood stuff to do, like the the optional stuff, the crazy uh challenge stuff. Which I'm looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to that like endless mode that's in Gold Saucer. That's going to be interesting. But for now, I think it's time to get on a boat. Oh, you know what? Um, I gotta decide if I I kind of I kind of want to do the Pirate's Treasure as part of the Let's Play as well. Because it said there was, like, specific enemies. And, I don't know, it sounds really cool. And I kind of want to do it. Or at least do one and see what it's like. <laughs> and we can kind of do it on the way to Gilgamesh anyways. I can do two of them on the way. And there's one over here. One down there. Let's do that one first. Yeah, that's kind of a shame that it shows it on the map. Because I thought that was the whole point of the treasure map. I was excited to use the treasure map. It just tells you where they are. That's lame. That takes all the fun out. Only after you beat... That's dumb. Instant refund. More than instant refund. I'm gonna fund a time machine so I can go back in time and refund it before it came out. That's how upset I am. <laughs> he hates it. <clears throat> wow. There he is, just chilling. Oh my god, this song.
Wait. I was about to say, this sounds like a Sea of Stars song. I genuinely love this song so much. I'm a, I'm a sucker for pirate music. This is like incredible. Ogre Raider. Oh, we get a battle version of it? Sounds kind of very similar. Doppelganger. How could you? Mad. He's mad. and Yuffie. How's it going, Turugo? Clown. Fine. Oh, Tarugo, thank you so much for the gifted sub as well, man. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate that. You ready to jet? That's very generous. He didn't have to do that. Man, I want that pirate music while I'm scooting around, too. Oh, I like this song, too, but... The song makes me feel like I'm... Exploring the world map in the original Tiny Bronco. Listen into the main theme, because it has that same build up, but then it, the melody goes a different way. Look at you guys plotting. You guys are too generous, but I, I do appreciate it so, so much. It's very spooky down here. Like I'm about to get eaten by a giant whale. not weird. 
I've played many games where I've had to clear all the fog. If you ever played like an old dungeon crawler? It's vital that you clear every single inch of the map. Or an RTS. Yeah, I just beat the queen. I mean, I still have like the optional stuff to do, but the quest line I completed just now. Well, I mean, I wouldn't go that far live stream. I'm not making. <laughs> I'm not making any sweeping judgments about your your sanity. Uh, that's that's still jury's still out on that one. But <laughs> I did somehow miraculously beat the queen in one shot with a third-rate deck as a second-rate duelist. Grandpa would be proud. deck has no pathetic cards. My grandpa handpicked all of them. Is that Diablo? Am I fighting Diablo? I think that's Diablo. become pressured when it assumes a counter stance. After a certain amount of time passes, it will unleash Gravega on the party and revert to its normal stance. Staggering it while in its counter stance will prevent it from using Gravega. Can you take over for me? So save all our juice. Got the absolute slobber knocked out of her. Keep it together. We're still on normal. I'm gonna do everything on normal, and then we delve into the other difficulties. Uh, ATV. This one's for you. How dare you? Ready for this? to see that.
mean, I, we could just, yeah. we just hang here if you want. I guess. Couldn't find the yellow paint. <laughs> it's not yellow enough for him. <laughs> I'm genuinely curious why he wasn't climbing. I was holding up at first, and then I tried, like, upright, right, and I just kind of moved the analog stick all around and nothing. Two are on the way to your boy. There is four, right? I think there's four. No, wait. I think there was five. another thing that I don't really know like where to go. Here we go. Well, obviously the the treasure map has four X's, so it's gotta be four. And I think I already know what we get from this because I saw it in the menu. That cool accessory. I guess that's all we get. I think it's the four fiends. Well, let's see, that one could have been kind of like... What's her name, Merilith? Mer, Mer, what's her name? The snake lady, the fire one. Uh, what was the first one, the ogre? Nah, ogre doesn't really fit any of them. It's not even really an element. I mean, yeah, that's maybe a bit of a loose reference, but uh, yeah, maybe. This one's a Dargan. I don't I think there's just four of them, boys. Four is a pretty common number. <laughs> Huey! Maybe it's a reference to... Donald Duck's cousins. <laughs> Alternates between a low voltage state and a supercharged state in which it continually emits electricity. Attacking it while it's supercharged will cause it to unleash a paralyzing bolt of lightning, but also pressure it. Very similar to that other enemy. Basically, who are you, Fee? It's just a stronger Quetzalcoatl. I was kind of hoping these enemies would be like more unique, but kind of just a stronger Quetzalcoatl. Okay, well I'm now. Get him! 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 Get
myself. It's gotta be me. Uh, Cloud's dead. Cloud's not dead. Just hit him with a little bit of this. and then L2, R2 to choose the abilities from party members? Yes. Is there another option? I mean, you could hit L2, R2 first. yell at the screen until they do what I want. You ready to jet? 